So I just finished up a painting um, that I've been working on for a little bit. And I thought I'd give you guys kind of a little uh, backstory of why I made it and a little bit of the, the, the process that I used to create it. So the painting is based on a story told by Guru Bawa Mahayadeen. Uh, I might have, might have butchered the name, but... Uh, it's basically an illustration that he was telling his students to kind of explain um, the f four four different types of, of religion. Um, basically, it's a it's a type of parable that he was telling to his students. It's uh, it's just a an interesting story um, that has some really good uh, really good imagery in it um, that I thought was interesting because. Uh, if you if you don't necessarily read uh, his contextualization of, of of what the the story means to him, um, you can really interpret it in a lot of different ways. Um, and that mixed with interesting imagery, I, I thought I thought it would make uh, I thought it would make a cool painting. So uh, basically, in the story, what is happening is that there is a fire off in the distance. And the king beetle is sending his high priests and uh, and messengers to to go off and, and investigate the fire and to come back and tell him what it is. Uh, in in short, um, everybody keeps getting closer and closer to the fire and is being more and more affected by the flames, but. Ultimately, they, they keep coming back to the King Beetle um, failing his the mission and, uh, and, only, and only being able to tell them what they think it is. And so the, the King Beetle finally decides that he's just going to investigate it himself and flies, you know, straight into the heart of the fire and is ultimately consumed by it. Uh, in this in the story it's 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 put really nicely in that the king beetle is keeping with his desire to know the nature of the blaze flew directly uh, into the innermost recesses of the fire in consequence the king beetle was consumed and integrated with the fire and the fire was integrated with the king beetle um, the identity of the king beetle was completely lost in the fire I, I first heard the story through a song by a band that I, I used to listen to a lot in high school. I hadn't listened to them in probably a decade, and I decided to kind of see what they'd been up to since I last heard them. Um, and they had they had a song that was that was based on this story. So in in starting in starting out, I, I basically I was reading through the story and, and picking out what I thought were 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 key uh, key points of interest in in the imagery to to help retell the story. Um, in the song, there's a, a moment, uh, there's a line where uh, they're talking about how the king beetle addresses uh, the rest of his his group um, while standing on top of a rhododendron bush. Um, I thought that was an uh, an interesting take. So. I, I searched uh, searched the internet for any sort of, of uh, like wallpaper or um, or fabric that might have uh, rhododendron flowers in it, um, and was able to find a sample through Amazon uh, that I thought would be interesting, and and I started acquiring little bits and pieces of 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 the imagery. Um, you know, I, I did, you know, probably a couple of days worth of, of looking on, uh, online at various beetles, um, to use for the reference. Um, ultimately finding some really great ones through Etsy. Um, you can pretty much find anything on there. And, uh, then I decided, uh, to, in order to bring the fire element into the story, I decided to just use matches and uh, made them representative of the the four uh, the four beetles that the king beetle sent out to investigate the fire. 
um, as well as the king beetle himself. And so uh, you can see in the painting that they are in various stages of, 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 of burning um, with the last one being representative of the king beetle um, being completely, completely burned through. In, in, in starting the painting, I, I thought this would be uh, an interesting take that it was a graphic enough background. I thought it would be a good chance to, to utilize some airbrushing to recreate the background um, in kind of the way that the wallpaper was actually made. The, the wallpaper I'd gotten was, uh, you know, the, the traditional uh, woodblock printed wallpaper. So there was, there was a little bit of, um, there was some depth to the ink that was used. And so I, I decided to go through and use frisket paper uh, to lay it down and stencil it all out and, and, and try to create it as closely as, as, as I could um, using the frisket paper to, to create that, that kind of woodblock uh, print, print look um, in which then I would then ultimately go over with oils and, and create the shadows and highlights and try to give it that that um that 3d quality leading up to the painting i had also done a charcoal a charcoal drawing um study for this painting which i did in the same scale uh to try to give myself a, a little bit of a heads up in in how small the details were for this painting um once i had gotten into uh the actual oil painting part of part of this um probably a good 90% of the painting process was done under magnification because it's so small. Um, the painting is, is close to, um, is close to life size. It's, it's probably, it's probably, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch, half inch, uh, larger than the, than the actual beetle that I had gotten. So just so you can kind of see uh, in, in comparison to, to my size, um, this is the actual beetle that was used. I put him in a, in a shadow box with the, the wall, uh, uh, piece of the, the wallpaper sample that I had used. Um, so this is, a, this is a five by seven. The, the painting itself is an eight by 10, so it's a little bit, little bit larger. The painting and the charcoal drawing are both still available uh, as of this point. So if anybody is interested in those, uh, check out my Instagram page and uh, and send me a direct message there, and we'll uh, I'll let you know about pricing and everything. Um, but yeah, it was it was a lot of fun, and uh, hope you guys like it.